Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Rich Lee here and today it's time for another episode of my Manchester United career mode series where today we're coming up against Nottingham Forest in the first game. They've just come up from the championship so we should be beating them easily. And Ronaldo's thrown goal here against Nottingham Forest. Can he get an early goal? No, that's straight to keeper. It's out to Daly Blind and that's in the back of the net. It's 1-0. I thought I'd screwed things up there. We got another crack at it though and we've taken the lead. And Rooney's on the ball now. Going to go for another of his finesse shots and that's gone over the bar. Ronaldo's got possession again here. What's he going to do? He's wriggling around the defenders. That's straight to the keeper. And Forrest are working the ball nicely now. And no way have they scored that. That was too easy. And Old Chick's got another chance here. And that's in the back of the net. It's 2-1. We got pretty lucky there with the way that it fell to him. There was nothing lucky about the finish though. And we've made it 2-1. And Forrest have got another chance now. But that's a decent save from Valdez. Luke Shaw's on the ball now. He plays that across for Raphael. Raphael plays it out wide for Old Chick. Old Chick's going to get a crossover. That's not a bad ball. Ronaldo's on it. And it's 3-1. And Ronaldo's got another chance here. Can we get another goal to make it four? Yes, we can. It's just too easy. Nottingham Forest aren't good enough for us. And Forrest are moving the ball down the wing now. That's a decent ball over and it's 4-2. And that's the half-time whistle. We go into the break, winning the game 4-2. Rooney's on the ball now. He moves that through for Ronaldo. Can he get his hat-trick here? He's going to chest that down. No, he's going to hit it first time and it's gone over the bar. And Ronaldo's got another chance here. Can he get his hat-trick now? No, that's gone wide. And Ronaldo's on the ball now. He plays that through for Kishner to run onto. Can we get another goal here? We've missed a good couple of opportunities but Keishner's going to score this and it's 5-2 and Forrest have got a chance now that's a good save from Valdez it's come straight back out to him though and it's 5-3 and Ronaldo's on the ball here with a chance of his hat-trick is he going to take it yes he is it's 6-3 and that's the final whistle it's a comfortable 6-3 victory and I'd pretty much given up all hope of signing Jan or Black and I was going to sign Jack Butland instead but I've now had some good news that Jan Oblak has accepted his contract offer. So welcome to Manchester United. And we've now hit transfer deadline day. So I'm going to make an offer for Yusuf Paulson. He's a very young, very quick player. And I think he'd be an awesome addition to the squad. A couple of other clubs have gone in for him though. So we're having to up our transfer bid. And our bid for Yusuf Paulson has been accepted. So I'm going to offer him 45k a week on a five-year contract. Unfortunately though, he didn't get back to us in time. So we'll have to go back in for him in January. January. And in the second game of the episode, we're coming up against Ipswich. So let's go and smash him out of the Capital One Cup. And Nanny's on the ball now. He plays that across to James Wilson. Can we get an early goal here with James Wilson? He's looking for support. He didn't receive it and he's lost it. And Ipswich have got a chance here and that's hit the bar. Are they going to get another crack at it? No, they're not. And that's the halftime whistle. I absolutely hate playing in the rain and predictably not much has happened so far. And Ipswich have got a chance here, but thankfully Oblak has saved it. Ronaldo's on the ball now. He plays that over the top for Di Maria to hit and that's in the back of the net. It's 1-0. Really nice ball through there from Ronaldo and an excellent first time hit from Di Maria and we've taken the lead. Ronaldo's on the ball now. He moves that through to Kishner and surely this is going to be 2-0. No, he falls on the ground. And Yanazai's on the ball now running it down the wing. He's going to get a ball over and can we make it 2-0 with Ronaldo? No. And Ipswich have got a corner now. That's into a dangerous area but we've got rid of it and Ronaldo's on the ball now. We've got a chance to break away here with Ronaldo. He's going to play that across to Kishner. Kishner's going to play it back to Ronaldo. He's got loads of time to run onto this, take his time with the shot, and surely this is going to be 2-0. No, it's saved. And that's gone over the bar. And that's the final whistle. It wasn't a good performance, but we have picked up a 1-0 victory. Into the final game of the episode then, and we're coming up against Liverpool. We didn't do too well against the better teams last season. We had a terrible record against the other teams in the top five. This season, we got CR7 though, and I think we'll do some serious damage against Liverpool today. And Jordan Henderson's on the ball now, causing us a few issues, and I thought that was going to go into the corner. And Liverpool have got another chance now, but they've hit that wide. And Ronaldo's got a chance here. He's moving through at goal, but he's offside. That was not offside. And Rooney's on the ball now. He plays that through to Ronaldo, and can we create something here with Ronaldo? He's going to play that over the top for Di Maria, and I think we're going to get a goal here through Di Maria. No! Ronaldo's got a chance here to cause problems from a free kick. Is he going to make the most of this one? No, that was terrible. Ronaldo's on the ball now. He plays that to Pazoa. Pazoa's going to move that back through, trying to find Ronaldo. He can't do it. Herrera's going to head that across to Di Maria. And now we've got a chance to work something down that right wing. Di Maria's going to cut that inside. He gets around his man. He's into the box. Can we get a goal here through Di Maria? He's going to hit that. And it's straight at Mignolet. And Memphis Depay's on the ball now, running this across the edge of the box. Can we get a goal here through Memphis Depay? No, that's gone wide. And that's the halftime whistle. No goals so far. It's 0 0 at the break. And Ronaldo's going to swing this corner in. Congolo's missed it. It's fallen to Depay. And how is that a goal? Everyone in the box just seemed to completely ignore that, including Mignolet. And Memphis Depay's on the ball now. He moves that through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's going to turn it past his man. He plays that across to Kishner. And Kishner's got a lot of space to run into here. Can we make something of this chance? 
Kishner gets round his man. He gets round another one. And is this going to be 2-0? No, he's gone down in the box. And Markovic is on the free kick. Now that's into a dangerous area, but they've headed it wide. And Kishner's on the ball. Now he's been fouled. And Liverpool are down to 10 men. And this could be Liverpool's last chance of the game. They're kicking it into a dangerous area. Ronaldo's going to head that across to Kishner. And we've got a chance to build something here with Kishner. He plays that to Pazoa. Pazoa moves that to Rooney. And what can Rooney do with this? He's going to play that back to Pazoa. No, he moves it through to Depay. And Depay's got a chance for a second goal here. Can he take it? No. And that's the final whistle. We've beaten Liverpool 1-0. And so far this season, we've won absolutely every game. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.